it's truly frightening that a team came up with this and thought, that's the one. That's the one. Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the new luxury items that I strongly dislike. <laughs> guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? Oh, never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, I know I did one of these recently, um, but wow, some of the hideousness that just seems to be coming at us from all angles. So it warranted another video. So here we are. I'm going to kick this off with a particularly disturbing pair of shoes. Wow, these are the Bottega Veneta BV Point shoes. Oh my gosh, no other shoe. Do you wanna know what? When I first saw the Balenciaga knife boot, I was like, oh my gosh, it's giving me witchy vibes. Incorrect. These shoes, these are the shoes that give me witchy vibes. Okay, this is giving me Angelica Houston. What's her name? Is it Angelica Houston? Angelica Huston in The Witches vibes, okay? We don't get any more witchy than that. Have you seen this? Have you also seen the fact that the point kind of like goes up at the end. Oh my gosh, there are just so many things wrong with this shoe. These are going for 810 pounds. And even the heel on, uh, the snout on it, the heel that's kind of like, I just, I simply cannot. I simply can't fathom being interested in this shoe. Like just put yourself in the mindset of somebody that goes, oh, look at that. That is everything I've been wanting. The next uh, thing I want to talk about is a collection, okay? And it's a collection coming out soon from Louis Vuitton. And they've gone ahead and they've called this the Crafty Collection. Now, I don't know what the influences are here because it could be African tribal, it could be Aboriginal. I don't know what they're going for here, but it is executed in the worst way. I. I can't. It's truly frightening that a team came up with this and thought, that's the one, that's the one. There is just so much going on here to a level that makes no sense, okay? Like that Neo Noi, or however you pronounce that bag, is done fine, fine. You've got the beige, you've got the black, you've got a braided handle, you've got a little bit something happening there, right? But it's like, it's, it's fine on the eyes. Let's just have a look at the speedy. Not only have you gone for a questionable tone of brown, like why, why that color? You know, that's my first question. Then you've gone and you've gone, okay, we're gonna do the black LV, we're gonna do these, we're gonna do this pattern around it in the white, fine. But then you decided to do black and white monogram on the handles and the little tag thing hanging off it. It's just like, you were already doing too much and then you did even more. Like, oh my gosh, don't even with this like little round thing. Mm -mm. <gasps> it's like, uh, no, oh my gosh, the Neverfull is the worst. I take it all back. The Speedy isn't the worst, the Neverfull is the worst. I don't know like what to say. Okay, so the next item I want to talk about that just dropped like one week, two weeks ago, is a new updated version of a bag I already have beef with. No, it's not the Gucci Marmont. It is the Givenchy Antigona. Um, they've made it soft. <laughs> I love that they've just called it, well, the Givenchy Antigona soft, okay. So, um, I just want to know why? Who asked for this? I mean, I'm biased because the Antigone is already not my vibe and then they've decided to go and like put a Balenciaga city bag spin on it. To be very honest with you, that is what it reminds me of. Um, I think it's something interesting in that, is this going to be a trend going forward? We're seeing more of these relaxed, boho, soft, as Givenchy would call it, bags. Need I remind you of, there's a Chanel bag coming out for Cruise, which is like, it's just essentially a sack with a hole in it for your arm. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't look too bad in the, in the small version, but in that medium with like the 
just sagging corners that just look like they've given up on life. Like, it's, uh, it's a no from me. Do we really need another edition of the Antigona? Like, I know that it is probably one of Givenchy's, like, best-selling pieces because there's, there's not much else at the moment. You know, you didn't need to make a, a version two of it, you know? The next item is another Louis Vuitton item. And it's once again, like, you already had a winner and then you had to take it there. So, the Archlight, which you know I love. Like, I'm a fan of the Archlights. But what they've gone and done with the Archlights is that they've made it all one colour, including, like, the tread and everything. And I, I, no. It looks awful to me. I can't even describe it. It just does not look good. Like, why, why did you have to go and make it all one colour? I do want to reiterate that it's not necessarily the monochromeness of it okay so for example if like it was all white yes if it was a blush yes even like i don't know if it was a pastel daffodil that would work but the abrasiveness of these colors it's just like oh my gosh you you were monochrome already like here we are taking a risk and then you decide for that it just it's just not working also i know i don't have any nails it's gonna get sorted out I don't know why it looks bad, it just does, okay? And sometimes that's really all the justification you can give for something. I don't know why I hate it, but I do. I can't even like put together a look in my, even the blue one is just awful. And you know how I feel about blue. Okay, let's do like white t-shirt, blue jeans, the most simple of outfits. With that, oh my gosh, it actually brings the, the outfit down. It actively, pulls the outfit down and that is the opposite of what an item should do for your look okay the next one is another boring nothing bag and that is the dior bobby bag which i put in the same category as the louis vuitton pont neuf um i think that it is boring i like in 2020 did we really need to issue this bag like this is a bag that should have been brought out in like i don't know the 80s like and you know sort of just Kind of stayed in the collection since then and you know the people who would be interested in it bought it but in 2020 we brought this bag out i worry about us i truly do i worry about us because if they thought that this was what was being demanded i worry what vibes we're putting out there it's just so it's so nothing it's so average of a bag the last item is again a bottega shoe actually two in one this is the Bottega BV bold shoes that come in both a boot and a mule for all your hideous shoe needs the term bulbous has never been more appropriate to describe an item than it is to describe this shoe have you seen the toes on that boot it just looks it looks bulbous it looks like oh I don't know like some sort of troll foot I don't know, but I hate it. And then they've been like, oh, so if a boot isn't your thing, oh, get it in the mule. The mule that has a built-in platform to make the toe look even worse. It's just baffling to me. And the thing is, is that like, just as I was like on the cusp of like, hmm, Bottega, I'm not entirely mad about it. I might not be the vibe, but I'm not mad about you. Then you have to go and, and pull this and make me like question everything. Why? My brain, my brain simply cannot compute how that is nice or like in any way chic and cool and like, mm -mm, mm -mm. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. I need to know that I'm not the only one that, you know, has it out for these items. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.